Okay. Stay hydrated. Okay. So, let's get into the video, y'all. Today's video is going to be about hair, makeup, and nail regulations in the military, specifically Army, because that's the branch that I'm in. So, let's look up AR670-1, which is the appearance of the Army uniform and what you are supposed to look like when you're in the Army uniform. So first and foremost, you're probably figuring out that in the military, you need to look as natural as possible and as professional as possible in the military uniform and act as that too. So hold on, let me pull up. I'm gonna get my notes on the iPad for AR670-1. So, here it is. First of all, ooh, okay. So let's talk about nails first. So these are my nails, very natural. They are acrylic nails. You can have acrylic nails in the military, but <laughs> okay. But they need to be a fourth inch, no longer than a fourth of an inch. So right here is about a fourth of an inch. So if they once they grow out any longer, I'll have to get them redone because it's against regulations and I don't wanna get in trouble for that, for something as silly as my nails. So, um, so pretty much for nails, only females can have nails. So if you're like, a male in the military and you're gay or whatever or you want to wear nails doesn't matter um but yes you cannot wear nails if you are a male females as i said it has to be a natural color short length and you can have like crazy like pointed nails it has to be like square square nails natural i don't even think you can have french tips now i've seen people with french tips so they actually probably are allowed don't quote me on that though as for makeup goes in the military, as again, as I said, males can have nails or makeup, but females, you can have a natural look, natural conservative makeup look. So as for my eyelashes, you see they're kind of natural, but it's almost going over the edge with that. It's pushing the boundaries a little bit with fake eyelashes. But a nice natural look, no color on your lips, like a nice nude lip gloss or even just chapstick. You can fill in your eyebrows if you want, put on foundation if you want. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend having makeup if you're like outside all the time, but if you have like an office job or like there's a ceremony you're going to, you can wear makeup in the uniform. Um, and obviously, you can get like eyelash extensions, but they need to look natural as possible, so these are like almost too much even. But if they're natural looking and they look like your actual eyelashes and you just want more volume, that'd be okay to have eyelash extensions in that case. Um, for males, obviously, I said no makeup. And obviously you don't wanna have like crazy eyeshadow either. It needs to like match your skin tone. Um, it needs to be like a new color to match your skin tone. As for jewelry, you cannot have like nose piercings, you can have tongue piercings, anything like that, you can't have that. You can have earrings, not this, like this, um, in Air Force and Navy. Army and Marines, I don't know about Coast Guard, Army and Marines, you can't have earrings in the OCP regular military uniform. Uh, Army and Navy, you can have like a little stud or like a little pearl right there, but that would be all. That's all you can have. You can have earrings all up the side, you can have nose, you can have tongue, lip, whatever. You can't have that. You can't wear, you can wear your wedding band ring on your fingers, that's it. Um, yeah, there's no other place you can put earrings really that would be shown obviously if you want a belly button ring you can wear that because it's not going to show so if you feel like wearing your belly button ring in uniform go for it 
Um, and then, yes, as for males, you cannot wear any jewelry in any branch of the military, I believe. So, so no, no for jewelry for males. All right, and last but not least, the most controversial one, or the most like difficult one to kind of rule out is hair. So as for males, I'll do that first because they're easier to talk about because it's like pretty simple with them. Um, it needs to be, here, there's a quote for men, or like in bold. Okay, it says in ARA 670-1, hair that is completely shaved or trimmed closely to the scalp is authorized. So obviously a nice, short, neat, clean haircut is what the military wants. So that means for males, no dreadlocks, no afros, no crazy eccentric hairstyles with like crazy colors, as to be natural color and nice and trimmed. And also for facial hair males, you need to have no facial hair. It needs to be clean, nice shaven every day. Um, there are cases where you can get a waiver for your facial hair. If you get ingrown hairs or you get a lot of bumps and like it's hard to shave your hair because you know for I know for especially for black men I know that is harder um, to keep a nice clean shaven face so you would want to you know get a waiver for that <clears throat> and then let's go to female the female side of hair um, what I usually do this is just me being a white female you know my hair I wet it in the morning after PT usually if, when we have PT uh, wet it put it Slick it back with gel. Here's the gel that I use, if you're wondering. This eco cheap stuff that I got at Walmart works like a charm. And yes, you will just slick it back with gel, nice sleek ponytail. And sometimes I'll braid the ponytail and I'll wrap it around, that is allowed. Um, but if you have like a braid going off the side for females, you can't have it any bigger than half of an inch. So like right there, that's about, that's about half an inch. So you can imagine females getting in trouble for their braids. Um, as for black females go, there's different rules. I'm not too sure about them because I know I'm not black, so I don't really know about their hair and how they do it. But you cornrows, braids, twists, all of that cannot be bigger than half of an inch. I know that for sure. Um, yes. Anything else? And yes, as I said, um, here's a quote for female hair that is in AR 670-1, the wear and appearance of military army uniform. Uh, it says, extreme eccentric or faddish haircuts or hairstyles are not authorized. That means no streaks of crazy rainbow colors in your hair. It has to be nice natural hair color like this, preferably like it looks all natural, goes with your skin tone, all of that. Um, you can't even have like two-tone colored hair or highlights, at least for the Army and Marines. I know they're a little bit more lenient, obviously, in Air Force and Navy, better way of life, you know, that whole spiel. But yes, I think they can have like a ombre hair a little bit, if, as long as it's more natural. Not too sure if they can have streaks of color in their hair. Don't quote me on that because... I don't really care. I'm not in that branch. I'm in the army, so I pay attention to the army rules. But yes, and if you cannot follow and abide to the guidelines that I have gone over in this video, then you will most likely get an Article 15. At first, you might get a warning, you might get a counseling, but after that, you're probably going to get a Article 15, which you don't want because that will get you kicked out of the military. And if you don't want to get kicked out of the military, you gotta abide by these appearance rules. Um, let me think if there's anything I didn't cover. Also, yes, watches. So like something like this, you obviously wouldn't wear it in the uniform because it's like a cute, girly, frilly watch. But like the Apple watches, all of that, those are fine. You can wear those. Um, don't call me on every branch, but I know in Army, you can have the little Apple watch can wear that that's the only jewelry you can wear at least for the as the army goes so i hope this answers all your questions i hope this made things more clear for anyone who's wondering about the appearance in the military uniform and how it this stupid hairspray but yes that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed i hope it was helpful helped you with your appearance so as I said, please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you all for watching. Bye.
let you know you're fine Running circles round my mind Even when it's raining, all you ever do is shine You on fire, you a star 